it's been five minutes since we were over there bucking that log over there. Okay, that little one. So we started there. I, my head spun off. I loved it. It was wonderful. I was able to stand up and buck with a 32 inch bar. The saw needs load. I went over to here, one size down. It did very well, but I could feel that it wanted to bark a little bit. but that's just because it needs the load. Then I went into smaller wood over there and behind there, friends, and it did that thing that I don't particularly like. My name's Billy Ray. I like playing in hay. Husqvarna's cool. Still's cool too. Echo's pretty darn neat, and so is the pollen. Makita's pretty cool, and Dalmar, they got together, and things are fun. Don't care the color, nor the size. Where you come from, join the fun, and cut the tree. <laughs> anyway, friends, I'm in a funky mood, because I had so many... I'm just doing a quick interjection here at the beginning of the video. Uh, I was out cutting a little bit yesterday. I'm struggling. I mean, I am. I'm struggling. But it's getting there. It's coming. So, anyways... Uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna wreak havoc on my mood anymore. I'm. I'm done with it. It is what it is. I meant to sit for a little bit. It's life in the fast lane. Listen. Here's the deal. I'm gonna put a little bit more time on this 500i. Um, friends, for those of you that know who I am, know where I come from, and have been here for a while, you know that I am a true and true tried and tested husky man. You know this about me. Oh, yes, you do. And you know my story with the 500. And I just, yesterday, when I went out and cut with that sucker, the day before, what it was, I learned about it a little more. I learned about it. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. If I blip the throttle before, I, so I'm learning the saw. And here's what I'm going to do. This is, this is how this is going to go. So I warn you to ask yourself why you're here. Because you still guys are super duper patriotic. And I'm not a still guy. You know that. So if you're here and you run still and I run husky, then I commend you. And you are a solid dude or dudette. Because it ain't got nothing to do with any of that malarkey. You know it and I know it. But it's great you're patriotic and a bit sensitive. Because sensitive is good. Anyways, you can see the mood I'm in, right? The 500, there's a couple things I've learned the other day. I'm going to learn some more. I'm going to put a little bit more time on the 500. I'm going to pipe it. Look at the heat. I'm going to see if I can kind of make that, that scenario that is built in from the factory, friends. It's not, I've, I've talked to many, many men have reached out to me in the last 48 hours and said, holy smokes, bucking, good video. I get you on the 500. I love it in the wood, but I, I actually do use a different saw for like, so it's a thing from the factory, friends. <laughs> I hear things, friends, I've been listening to power saws through the valleys for, I can tell a doll saw through a valley. I can hear saws, friends. I have a different ear. You would too if you'd done what I'd done for the last 30 years. You would. You would understand it. So I know guys that don't, didn't even know the sound. They didn't, what sound are you talking about, Buck? And I'm like, friends, it's all, we're all different. We're all different. But this is the love of the power saw. So I'm going to learn more about this still because I actually do enjoy running it. It's quite strong. But those little things, I'm trying to work through those so that I can help people with it. That's the only reason I'm, I'm gonna actually put a little more time on the, on the still saw, uh, the 500. That's a big freaking piece of wood. Let's go cut it. Hey, shall we? I say we do. So, five minutes. I don't know whether to pump the saw. I'm not going to. I'm hoping it's gonna fire. Maybe it won't though. Maybe it won't. Oh, 
This is why I don't like the bark box. And, hey, listen up right now, right here, right now. Gordy, I like you guys, you know that. But I don't like this and I know you already know all about this. This is why I don't like this bark box on my fallen sauce. People in the world that cut trees from both sides of the tree. This is why I don't like the bark box. I don't like the bark box because it hits you right in the face. It's the only reason. Other than that, it's actually a great muffler. That's a big piece of wood right there. Let's get back.
with that saw and I'm gonna load up I'm gonna load it up okay I want you guys to see something and then in the cut I'm gonna bring the revs up in the cut watch what happens to chain speed oil all those things that we have to deal with with these new power saws now that's a hungry full house chain by the way but listen to listen to when I load it up and watch the the, how fast the power saw is going through the wood. Then I'm going to lay off on it. You know what I'm saying? And bring the RPMs up. And watch what happens. Just watch. from light to dark when you keep your RPMs up in the cut. This laying on these saws and bogging them hard, you're losing oil because you're losing chain speed. Just, it'll crap out when it tells you it's not supposed to cut faster.
so I was coming around. Straight up coming around. I want to break this sucker in. Simple. just need to load your saw up a little bit that's the problem that's why if you do not have your filing on with these power saws i'm telling you right now you're going to run into that four stroke now most saws will do that any saw will do that 20 years old 10 years old brand new saws from the 90s 80s 70s 60s uh, 2023 they'll all do it if they're dull they'll make that that cranky noise that i don't like Rip saw. I'm 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 actually really impressed. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke, friends. I, I these guys are already well known around. They don't they don't get in. You know what I like about these guys? They don't get into the to into the the dark side, so to speak, and we all know what that is. That's why I love Tin Man. I know that the Iron Horse has, has you know, as much as people I, I'm not even gonna say anything actually. As a matter of fact, the, the power saw community knows what I'm talking about. That man's a freaking wizard. And if I was a smart uh, a young power saw builder, I would be up against that guy's can. Right against him on his bench sitting there. What did you just do? Why did you do that? And why are you doing that? Well, this is why. And I would learn every ounce of information that the Iron Horse is willing to share with anybody. That I do know. So that's all I'll say on that. But these guys, rip saw. If you got a 500 eye on the, on the, on the, on the, See, here's the thing. I got, I got to say this. I got to say this. I'm, I'm pumped up right now. As you friends know, I haven't been able to cut much. I'm going very easy. It's coming. Every, this is my exercise, friends. I don't, I'm not good at doing exercises and weights and things. This is my gym. This is my exercise moving. I feel it. Don't think I don't, but I'm just going to slowly. You'll notice me if you look at me. I'm using this arm mostly. So, uh, th th this Ripsaw Clan boy, I, 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 I got to stop repeating myself you boys are doing a nice job out there really nice job okay i've said enough if you're barking in the small wood with these saws here's what i suggest to you a slightly hungry raker slightly hungrier raker so that that saw works a bit harder if your rakers are high and you're batting against the wood you're gonna think this saw is terrible we need to adapt to these new technologies that are coming out these these fuel injected these amtronics i don't have an x-torque saw in my lineup i'm old school friends look at the freaking truck you guys know me i i let it idle there for five minutes it felt like a completely different saw killinger thanks for that and all the people in the comment section that helped me with this on this saw thank you rip saw thank you there's a link you want to go see these boys i don't know how many left they got on the shelf but after running this thing and breaking this in a bit thumbs up to that i was uninformed is what i was i didn't know how to run these freaking new things i didn't know how to run them i'm like okay what calibration what are you talking about calibration? nobody told me this when i bought it they're just like just pump it eight times and pull on it and go that's what i was told 
And that's what I did. The world is changing. It's like a stock saw that has a couple of more canaches. That's what it feels like. A few more. And that bark box does work well on these saws. It always has. I, I prefer it to the Egan shot, actually. To be honest, I do, except for that blowing in the face. Is that enough freaking rambles for me today? I'm talking and could keep going, but I'm out of here. I love you all. Work hard. Be honest. Find the saw that works for you. Ask yourself what kind of cutting you're going to be doing. Over and out. Be kind. Work hard. Be honest. And I already said be kind, but it never hurts to say be kind again, especially in these times. Thanks for watching. Hello to the new subscribers. Boys, again, you did not have to do that for me. Thank you.